What's up everybody? Welcome back to Minecraft Beta. So, in the last video, we created a double skeleton and spider farm. Well, it's one of each, but a double spawner trap, which turned out pretty cool. And yeah, a lot has happened since the last video. I've been kind of busy, so I've been playing a bit on and off, which is why I haven't had too much time to record, but I'm going to take you through what I've accomplished in the world in the past week or so. So the first thing I'll say is, or we'll go to is I've extended the path down this way and created a little area. I put a house here. It kind of leans too much against the mountain. I built it too close, but yeah, it's a kind of cool little house. I'm really into this roof style right now where you just have the blocks. Instead of having, you know, stairs like that. Yeah, I, I, I like this quite a lot actually because it... I don't know, there's something kind of nifty about it. And it's something a little bit different. Uh, I will now go into the house and show you, I guess. Oh so yeah, nice little kitchen here. Kind of cool. A little PC setup. We go upstairs. A little bedroom. Yeah, a little shelf type thing. I still don't have any glowstone. Glowstone is something I want to get a hand, get a hold of very soon. Because it's a nice block. Because right now I'm lighting everything up with torches. We go up here. Got a little man cave with a telly. People are watching Karate Kid or something. Over here, there's nothing really here. I may, I could make like a pool table here. Or something I just thought of but yeah that's the house so far or well, that's the house I don't know how much more I'm gonna add to it yeah I think it's kind of cool I want to build more of these sorts of houses that just look cool in this town uh, I've got a couple of little wheat fields here just for decoration I've got a chicken who's guarding it uh, natural tree and waterfall by the way so that up there is quite cool so this is where I was trying to make a path to the, the spawner trap that we built. Originally I was going to go this way and then I scrapped that. Uh, I imagine I want something going that way eventually so I sort of left it open. So I decided to go this way instead. And we extend out here. Now if you watched the last video you'll know that since I have the spider farm now i'm allowing myself to use my passive mob farm which is over there somewhere there it is you can see it over there which i didn't want to do but wool is a pain in the ass to get and i actually haven't had to use much wool i think only in that house back there i've used it but yeah i made this little dock area i think it turned out pretty well come over here the fisherman's house just a little house with some garbage in it. Yeah, here's the wool I collected from the farm. Come out here. Yeah, it's a nice little house with the full block roof again. Yeah, it's a good alternative to not having corner stairs where it actually lines up on the corner. So I think I, I like it quite a lot, actually. A little area here where presumably the fisherman would butcher the fish or whatever. If he caught any. Yeah, this dock goes out to the ocean and back that way to be, to the base. So hopefully there should be a way to connect it in a cool way when eventually I move back and connect these two areas up. Then if we come into here, I want to do something cool in this cave. Like a little rat den from Portal or something would be kind of cool. Maybe little Easter eggs. But yeah. Nothing really here right now. I had to block a lot of it up because I kept getting attacked. I thought that was a spawner for some reason. No, it's a torch. Uh, bone and string farm. We come down the stairs here. We've got the, the trap. And I have decorated a little bit. I haven't decorated this path down here yet. I'm lazy and don't want to do it. But I have decorated in here. Uh, I'm really into this pattern right now as well. Having checkered stone brick and sandstone floors 
I think it looks really cool. So, yeah, farms work very simply. You stand on this block here, and your inventory will slowly fill up with bones, arrows, and string. I heard a skeleton die up there. And a spider. Come on, show me it. There we go. There's a neat little farm. Got to get rid of this chest. Yeah, I actually quite like the design that I came up with in this room. Having the lava, lava columns. It looks quite nice. I want to have a switch to turn off the each spawner. So if I just want bones, I can turn off the spider farm and vice versa. But yeah. Pretty cool. Get out of here. Alright, now let's go back up and we'll go back to the other area and I'll show you what I've achieved over there. Alright guys, so before you probably noticed all these cobblestone paths around and possibly that, but yeah, that was uh, the beginning of the top level of the town that we're going to be trying to build. Uh, to get up there, you have to go through this little area here. I haven't put gravel there. I don't think I've put it on this side either. No, I didn't. Oh well, that's a little job for later. But if we come up the stairs, eventually, I plan to break in to the staircase from the path on, a, on one of the sides. I haven't quite done that yet. But if we come up here, we've got the watchtower. Now, I'm at almost build limit, so I couldn't really do too much. But, yeah, this tower is quite ugly, I'm not going to lie. It is very, very ugly. I don't like it very much. But it's something cool, I guess. It looks kind of cool when you're up here. A little spoiler alert for what's coming. But yeah. That is my phone. Alright, I'm gonna go down and I will check out the paths. So I've done a f bunch of these cobblestone paths going around because I want to build some houses on top of the mountains and embedded into the mountains or some buildings, whatever. So I'm gonna probably make a K or a path to get into the watchtower or to the bottom through that wall there. Yeah, we've got a few cobblestone paths. It goes all the way around. Nothing too interesting. I'm not going to walk all the way around. Uh, there's one that goes over there and ends around that corner. There's one that goes around this mountain. One that goes around this mountain. And the one that goes over there and just ends right there. So some future planning, I guess. Uh, I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to die here, I reckon. No, I didn't. Perfect. Did not mean to walk off. I meant to sort of scale the mountain, but it's okay. Uh, you probably saw the next thing that I did. I come over here. I extended a little pathway up here. I love gravel paths. I don't know if you've realized that, but I love gravel paths. I want everything to be connect connected via a gravel path. Yeah, a basic tree farm. And I built a little house. Oh, this chest has a bunch of dirt in it and crap. Yeah. It's actually good that I have that dirt because I have a project I was working on which needed some dirt and I will show you that shortly. Yeah, simple tree farm. Here's my little workshop. I've done a bit of farming. Yeah, to stock up my wood supplies. Now, what I don't like is... Like the height that the glass blocks are, to make them to make it so that you don't get massive oak trees, the glass blocks have to be cannot be any higher than that. That's the ninth block. If you saw my tips and tricks video, that's the ninth block of the, the yeah above the ground for the glass. However, birch trees, which are good to farm if you want planks, they need another extra block to be able to grow the birch trees most efficiently, because otherwise it takes you know, three or four bone meal per tree, which is a pain. So what I really want to do 
is make a piston system. So I can switch it from birch to oak trees. But to do that, I need slime balls because I need sticky pistons. And there is one way to get slime balls. And that is what I've been doing next. I actually haven't showed you inside this house yet. I got a little excited. But yeah, this is a very simple house. Got a bookshelf. I imagine this is like a an Amish type house or an Amish type area. There's no electronics, you just go out, chop wood all day. That's why there's no TV, it's just a bookshelf. And if we come up here, little bedroom, little linen cupboard, kind of cool. Very simple. I'm not very good at interiors, I'm going to be honest. I'm not very good at detailing them. Uh, the water is supposed to be like a, you rinse off sawdust. I don't know. It, it's, in my mind, it made sense, but it doesn't really. Uh, a lot of terraforming had to be done to put this tree farm here because there's 64 trees. Originally, I was going to make 36, a six by six, but I changed my mind. And this view is legendary, I think. I extended the, the hill to over here and this is an amazing view. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to do something sort of over here. It's a great view. And I was talking about in a previous video how cool this little area here, here is. Yeah, I love that. All right, so now I'm gonna go and show you what I wanted to show you before. All right, guys, so we're back at the mining house. This is pretty much my main base right now. This is where all my stuff is. Still got a lot of junk. I haven't made a storage room yet, like a dope. I also don't think that sugarcane farm was there last time, I believe. Yeah, I, I need a sugar cane for bookshelves. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Got to come out here. No, I don't. I have no minecart. Okay. I don't have any iron either. So I guess we're legging it down here. Because, yeah, this is my main base of operations right now. Still unintentional. But down here is a little project I've been working on for the past couple days. Pretty cool. This has sort of changed. I've opened this area up because I've got a path this way because you can probably guess what I've been building based on the fact that I said I needed slime. And here we go. Yeah, I'm going to turn it back to hard. Should have done that before. And this is, yeah, four slime chunks next to one another. If you're trying to find slimes, then you can use chunk base and just stick in the seed of your world because the slime chunks don't change throughout the versions. So it's kind of cool. So you, you can use chunk base. And also a little tip, I believe in this version, I don't know if it's a myth, but I seem to get more slime balls if I punch them. I punch the slimes instead of hitting them with my sword. Yeah. This is four chunks in a line that are all slime chunks, which is kind of cool. I'm going to be decorating this a lot more, but that's going to take a little while. It's going to, yeah, it's not going to look this terrible. And all the dirt, I need to connect that. The dirt is because I'm going to convert it to grass, etho style. So if I come up here, I did this about probably half an hour ago. So I'm interested to see how far down the dirt the grass has gotten. Last time I did grass to bedrock type thing, it took like three hours, which was great. Okay. I don't, okay, it skipped one. That's kind of cool. It skipped another one. Okay, so half an hour, I've probably gone around 20 blocks. Probably a bit more actually, yeah. Yep, that's making good progress there. So hopefully in a few hours that'll spread out and I can have some nice beautiful grass. But that will be for a later date and that's pretty much all I've got to show you today. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ra.